South Africa, heading on our pole nine. We're off to a fire here. Oh, that is a super try from the kickoff. Wow, blink and it was gone. So the next game up here, Brisbane State High up against uh, St. Teresa's. Uh, Brisbane State High there, I think, uh, straight from the kickoff. Get the teams for you in just a moment. Number, number, two, number two jersey for Brizzy State. Martin Kurtz with a try and all came off the work of Duana Taulima who reeled in the kickoff and goes up again this time. He'll come back once more for Brisbane State. They are foot to the floor from the get go and they'll go in again. This time it is Jim Hanjack. Brisbane State High go bang bang inside the first minute. They have two tries on the board. to Mark Courts, who has plenty of pace, took three with him over the line. And another one to look out for here, Matt Tewai, who is brother of Chris Tewai Sortia, the Queensland Reds and Wallaby winger slash centre. So he's in the number one for Brizzy State High. Keep an eye on him. Reasons with the feed, the ball coming in favour of Brisbane. Nice little run around, crossovers, to keep the ball alive. Really caught the breakdown, now it comes wide. Here's the ears back. Oh, nice out of the back of the hand. Little skip, and they're in for the try number three. No Lima. Yeah. Tayuana, Tay Lima. Queensland Reds under 16 to rep there in the three jerseys for Brisbane State High. Cowan and Paulima. See a bit of pace. Take away there from win. Liam McNamara. Out on fly here, still three, over three minutes remaining. 19 to nil, Brisbane State High. Again, some of these teams are coming out and really showing their hand early in the tournament. Making a statement. Making everyone else sit up and have a look. from St. Teresa's, didn't die on the chase and did a terrific job to 
knock that ball clear. Great work there from Luke Jaka. On Westy. Some of these headline teams, the heavyweights, are really showing their hand early. Do those other sides know what they're all about here at the Scots College Sevens? And already we've seen a couple of teams who look like they will go deep into the afternoon well, chasing been, the title. It is a bit of posturing early up in the first game to make a statement to make everyone else sit up and think, gee, who are we going to get in the quarterfinals and the semi-finals? And uh, just looking at the form on some of the players. If uh, points differential happens to come in, all you'd have to think that Scots College are fairly well placed after their opening game, winning 60 points to five against uh, yes, Singapore. So, what's he up on the scoreboard there? We've got uh, some real time data coming out of. State high play, Matt Fairway. And the black lines there, they indicate the impact. So when there's been a bit of uh, bit of contact, bit of rough stuff, that's where it peaks with the... Well, it looks like he spent the whole first seven minutes in contact. He's up out on the right wing. Fairway. Comes Luis for some reasons. Chasing their first points to this Rizzi matchup. Jack up, grab a super himself. Uh, just goes loose in tackle and unlucky there for Luke Jacker, who's been a standout for his team in defence. Yeah, just rolling out all the skills there, little chip through, got the bounce, just couldn't quite hang on. The defender actually got there just at the same time. The pool standings so far, of course, uh, we're not all the way through two games each, but uh, you see Pool A, Palmerston North with a victory, PNG with a victory, so they sit on top with two wins apiece. This game here is a big B game. Westfield's open up with a victory. Top pool B. 
No, a great win from the past there. Terrific skills here on displays. Matt Pillai breaks clear down the left flank, but tosses it back in field will fall the way of St. Therese's, and now they counter with their own nice wide passing game. We're going to try and burn him on the outside, showing the good pair of heels. The defender came, just cut him off, didn't give him much to go on. Clean it down the breakdown, and the penalty for not releasing. Great chase. Great kick, great chase there by Sam Harrington from St. Teresa's. Ooh, that one was red. Well, but St. Teresa's do well to hang on to it. Now it falls away at Brisbane State High. Coming in from the side, I'd say there. Looks like they start for the breakdown. They're going to play on early here in Brisbane. And it's all the way straight through. With Liam McNamara running it in for the try that will set up a 29 points to their lead with the kick still to come for Brisbane State High. So there's our distances up there on the screen. There we are, running metres. 1,045, 47 metres, 861. That's Brisbane State High. 767, and uh, it's gone off the screen now for St. Teresa's. Well, our two players there with the GPS on for Brisbane State High are Matt Fairway and Matt Schmidt. So uh, big run metres out pointing their rivals from St. Teresa's from the Sunshine Coast. Good job to stay in the field and play there, but the ball has gone out. Big, big friend. Number one, Julian Scott Davies. So let's just bit a background on St. Therese's, what they're about, where they're from. They compete in the Sunshine Coast, schools rugby competition. Last year they took out the under 18 and the under 16 Sunny Coast seven side tournaments. So it's great to have them here in Sydney for the Scots College Sevens this afternoon. Yeah, well, international this year with Palmerston the North, and uh, I'd love to see some teams come down from the Northern Hemisphere. Some of your Welsh or English schools there, your Irish schools. Nice time you'd have been in Sydney West, isn't it? Autumn. And then they go around the outside there. Keegan Keith. Keegan Keith picks up another one. Brisbane State Highway. Yeah, nice time of year to be in Sydney. So we've got a uh, team out of Singapore, the AIS team out of Singapore joining us today. And OTML schoolboys out of Papua New Guinea and Palmerston North boys New Zealand. The Manawatu region in New Zealand at Palmerston North Boys High, who was super impressive in their opening game of the tournament. A player to watch from them was the man who grabbed two tries in their win, Jackson Ferris. second half. Of course, next match up on the program. Canberra Grammar will see for the first time taking on the Armadale School. Should be a, uh, another good match up. And then 10.55 uh, we get Erindale. First time we see them for the day up against AOS Singapore. So we've seen all the teams come to the end of this next round of matches. Moving into the final rounds there, and we'll be deciding who goes through into the quarterfinals, who remains alive in the cup, and who goes through to the bowl semi-finals. Running in heavy traffic, just take it down on the line. 
number 12 there, Her uh, number 12, Luke Giaka. They're going to call it back now, the referee said play on. Tell the toe, chase, chase through. Luke Giaka again, what a game this young fellas have, the number 12 from six Breezes. He's a national under 17 javelin champion. How about that? What a talented player. Luke Jacker is the 12 for such reasons. Talented athlete, brother. Good scrambling to loose on the ball there. It's Matt Smith. I'm going to try and drive over from short as the siren goes. The try is given. And the final try there. The score rolls up. 43 points to nil. That Fairway with another try there. Makes, makes it a double for him in that strong win. 43 points to nil. Over. In favour of Brisbane State High. And they look to be a real tournament threat. Well, Wayne Dewey, so that's 43 nil.